What's up, freaks? We are getting set up here for a boot camp training session. It's going to be some upper body work, some lower body work, some cardio work, some core work. You're going to be dripping sweat. Your arms are going to be pumped. They're going to be jacked up. You're going to be ripped. You're going to be looking like the lean, incredible Hulk when this workout's over. Promise. 100% guaranteed you're going to be jacked after this. If you have a pair, if you need a light pair of dumbbells, light to medium pair of dumbbells, if you have different weights of dumbbells, then just have those ready for different exercises. If you need, want to switch out your weights or to get warmed up, some lighter weights and move up. It's just going to be for, the only thing you need for the dumbbells really is some overhead pressing movements and some bicep movements. Mixing in some squats with that also. So get weight that you can use for overhead or for biceps. If you don't have any weights, find something around the house just to hold in each hand. You need separate in each hand. It could be anything. It could be something, whatever you have around the house that's light enough, small enough, but at this point, you should have some freaking dumbbells at your home. So let's get, make sure you're hydrated. Last quick sip of the Herbalife and True Lean Concoction pre-workout. Boys should say last chug, because they're chugging that stuff. Good stuff, let's get rolling. So let's start. It's gonna be a lot of upper body work mixed in with this. So we need those shoulders loose. So pay attention, we're gonna fling those shoulders forward. 10 times, just loose. Forward sort of circles while you're just moving the feet in place. And come backwards, backwards shoulder circles, loose. Fling them, fling them. Oh yeah, you know it's coming, sucker. Let's come in and out with the shoulders. In and out, right on my top, right on my bottom. Just flinging it, loosening up those shoulders, getting the blood flowing through the joints. Now we're gonna fling downward, angle down and back. Just to the center, not too strong where you're snapping your freaking shoulder out of the socket, just enough to keep it moving. Good. We're gonna go back to the side, or, or sorry, we're going to our quads now. We're gonna alternate quads. There is gonna be some up and down on the legs, moving your entire body. So get those quads stretching, ready to roll, getting the blood flowing. Alternating quad stretches. Hold it for one second each, two seconds each. Twirl your neck if your neck is stiff, like mine, little neck twirlers. But, can you stand on one leg while you're twirling your neck? Shit, I almost fell over. Just kidding. All right, back to shoulders. Fling it open and stretch it. Hold it for three seconds. Fling it open and stretch the other side. Three seconds. Fling it. Stretch it. Hold that. Stretch it. Hold it for a couple seconds. Fling it. And the other side. Get your breathing under control. Getting your body ready to freaking move. Go to alternate knee hug. Hug the knee up to your chest. Hold it for a couple seconds. You can angle it across a little bit to get a little more glute. Hold again. One to three seconds, whatever you need to. Tyson, hold your knee up there. Close your eyes. Hold it up. Close your eyes. What are you all wobbling for? Are you drunk? Keep stretching, knee to the chest, getting them ready to move. You don't gotta hold too long, you don't feel the need to, just getting them ready to move, ready to work. Now we're gonna fling down that low fling again and we're gonna come up and hold the tricep for three seconds. Fling that lower down, downward fling and hold the other side three seconds. Fling it, hold it, fling it, hold it. A couple seconds. One more each side. And good. Hands on your hips. Right above, grab your own ass pretty much. Your fingertips should just be grabbing your own ass. You're going to lean over at the waist, bend the knees a little bit, and come up and just extend your hips just enough to open your hips up and at the same time stretch your chest and shoulders. Your hips without arch your back. Not arch your back. Just extending it to stretch, stretch, stretch out the chest and shoulders. Breathe it. Exhale. Two more. Opening up the chest and shoulders. Done. Shake it out. Shake it, shake it, shake it. However you need to shake it, those last couple seconds, shake it, stay loose. You could do the Gumby stretch. We're just shaking down. It's a very technical stretch. It's a gummy stretch. You just flop down and fling it back up. You can't do that stretch. That's advanced shit right there. Some advanced stuff right there. 
All right, so you're gonna need some dumbbells. This first round, I should be starting off pretty light, just to get warmed up. We're gonna start with just a single dumbbell for this round, just to get things moving. It's just gonna be a few reps each side, just to get the body moving. So let's go, right away. Put it in your right arm, right side. Palm is facing in, because we're gonna go a little tempo with this. We want lighter weight. It's not gonna be too high or heavy weight. Right here, and you're just going five, about five reps. Literally, just look, I'm pumping this out, because it's light weight. Right away, switch over to the left arm. Right over to the right arm. Bicep curl. Just five. Just getting all the muscles moving. It's a light weight. It's a warm-up weight. Just getting started. Five means keep doing the tight tight switch. Switch. So maybe you do more because you're going faster. Maybe you do less you're going slower. Whatever. Put in the right arm. You're going to go squat and press. Squat, press. It's going to be just a few reps. We're just warming up. Left arm, same thing. Right arm, you're gonna go palm in, curl to press, brace those abs. So just getting all your muscles moving. Throw it up there. Left arm, curl to press on the left. Drive it up. Easy stuff. This is a joke. Right arm, squat to curl. So squat down, curl up. If you twist the wrist, not twist the wrist, don't care. Squat to curl. Not swinging and flopping all over the place. Switch it, left side. All we're doing is getting the blood flowing. Get ready for the real work. Put that weight aside for a quick set. We're going to do a walking squat thrust. So two jumping jacks when you come up. So walking squat thrust is squat down, step back with your right leg. Oh, you're going to stretch if you want. Back with your left leg, step forward with your right leg, forward with your left leg, come up, and two jacks. Now right back down, step back left, right, forward, left, right, two jacks when you come up. So get in your own flow, get in your own pace. Walking squat thrust to two jumping jacks. We're rolling. Go, go, go. So let's be walking. Walking. Walking to two jacks. Walking jack. Stop bitch slapping yes. me. Alternate which leg goes back first each time. So one time go right, left. Next time go left, right. Just getting the body flipping, moving. Squat down. Step, 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 step. Good. You're going to crawl outs. Every time you come up, you're going to do four split jacks. Split jacks from a side view are just front to back jacks here. Legs only. So wide stance to your feet. Squat down. Crawl all the way out. Crawl back in. And four split jacks. After the floor, hop your feet back out. Back to the crawl out. Crawl back in. Four split jacks. Pull it out. Your own pace. Get a stretch if you need it. Bounce in your step. Good. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Just getting some of the movements going that you're going to need to do throughout this workout. Keep stretching those shoulders. Stretching those quads. Getting ready for some real work. So get a pair of dumbbells out now. Still should be light to medium. So we're going to go pretty fast pace, pretty high reps, so or whatever you want. Get some dumbbell, a pair of dumbbells out for this next round. Pair of dumbbells. All right, let's go. So we're gonna go right here, both arms together. Palms in though, palms in. A little tempo to it, but depending on how heavy your weight is, you don't need to go too fast. If it's a little heavier, 
We're only going about eight to ten. Shoulder press. Shoulder, shoulder press. And down, bring them down. Right to a bicep curl. Easy, easy stuff. We're just repeating all the single arm stuff we did last round. We're just going double arm and with slightly heavier weight and more reps. Now we're more warmed up. Let's go freak shows. Just getting moving. All right, put them both right here. Squat, throw them up, press. We're not swinging our arms down to the bottom. Squat to press. Our arms are not even coming down to our sides. Squat, press. Throw it up, one more. And we're going curl to press. This is when the palms are gonna stay in, double arm. Curl, press, control it. Swing your arms, squeeze it, keep them tight. Still just barely getting warmed up. This is a secondary warm up to the warm up, suckers. And arms at your sides or inside your thigh, right in front of your legs, right here. So you have space to squat, curl, squat, curl. Breathe it out. Oh, God, here we go. Squeeze it up. One more. We are just getting warmed up. Put them down. Take it. Stretch your shoulders. Stretch your quads. Just freaking getting started. Whoa. Uh, Bug had dog had some peace. Oh, he's a spider. She's right in his mouth. And I was just hugging him. Oh, right, it came from you. I, I, I was going to kiss him. Right on oh. his lips. Nice big spider right on Bob's lips. Oh, gee. Oh, gee? Oh, my God. Oh, he's moving. All right, shake it out, stretch it. Get him down. Quick sip. We're going to start picking up the pace a little more. Now you're getting warmed up. <laughs> Violent person. So get your dumbbells. Don't look at this. If your weights are a little heavier, you're going to do these slower. If they're light, you're going to go fast. We're going to jack press up. So hands in at your sides, feet together. When the feet jump apart, the weights are going to go up. When they come back down, feet come together. If you have light weight, you should be blasting this out full speed. Mine's moderate weight for this type of movement, so I'm going to go kind of a moderate speed. Go. Come down just for half a second. Just get out of your hands. Go back up. Down at your sides. You're going to do a jack curl. You can twist the wrist, not twist the wrist, don't care. So when the feet come up, your weight's going to come. Or feet go apart, the weight's going to come up. Yeah, your feet's going to go up. Here, curl. Alright, when the feet go apart, the weights are coming up. So here, boom, and then back down to your sides. So palms can stay in, you can twist them, you can keep pace, whatever works. Go. Go to about 15. Depending on your weight, you might have to pause at the bottom so it doesn't swing on you. So you have to do a little hesitation so it doesn't yank on my elbow. If you have lighter weight, you can just do this and bang it out, but then it'll start pulling on your elbow, your bicep. Do what you gotta do. If you need just that hesitation at the bottom, do what you gotta do. I told you you're gonna get Arnold arms here. I already feel them pumping up. Don't be a don't be a wise guy. I'll drop this weight on your toe. Come down for a second and a half. We're now gonna go split jack. So fast, it'll be about your fast the same bolt. We're gonna do a split jack press and up. So we're pressing up while the feet are going front to back. Double arm. Right here. Ready? 
Straight from the side. Go. So boom, boom, up. At least 15. Time. And down for two seconds. We're going to do a split. Jack, curl. So while the feet are going, and again, you might need to pause at the bottom every time. So your arms aren't flailing in the wind. One leg forward, one leg back. Start the exercise, please. Go up at the next right here. Working with some technical difficulties with the audience arrangements. Audience arrangements. Let's go. Split, jack, curl. Feet front and back. Go. Boom, boom. See, I have to pause the bottom just so these don't yank on my elbows. If your weight's light, you don't need to pause at the bottom. Boom, boom. I can get a few in, but little hesitation down there. Halfway through, switch which leg is forward at the bottom, just for the hell of it, because it is a difference. Split jack, curl. Bang out a few in a row. Pause at the bottom. Do what you gotta do. Ha! Put it down. Stripper time! Oh yeah! Coming up. Clothes are coming off. All right. We're going with the squat thrust. Full squat thrust now with your dumbbells, your calves. Already should be getting pumped up. Stretch those suckers out. I feel I'm ready from those little hops of that extra weight. All that extra weight carrying around. So we're going to crawl out to press. I mean, sorry, squat thrust to press up. That's it. Squat thrust, every time you come up, it's technically a curl to press, right? Because you're squat thrust, curl to press. Let's do it. All right, I lied. Because that's the second one. I might as well do the curl first. Squat thrust to curl. Let's do it because we basically do the curl to press anyway. Right, let's go. So down, jump back, jump in, curl, one curl, that's it. You're jumping on the squat thrust now. It's only one curl, so look, you can twist your wrist up here at the top and then bring them back down. Oh, sorry. What is that on top of your head? Squirrel. I think there's some squirrel. Jump back, jump in, curl up. Ab strong, twist and curl. Squat thrust, bicep curl. Curls for the girls. Every workout should have bicep curls included or it's not even considered a workout. It's not even a workout if you didn't work your bicep. Why? Because that is the most important functional movement in the world. Bicep curls. Who doesn't want bigger guns? I need to have something to say for every single word, Texan. That's what's called annoying. <laughs> That's in Dr. Angus' class. Squat thrust, curl. Squat down. Jump back. Jump in. Curl it up. A couple more. Find your flow. Find your rhythm. Come down for half a second. We're now going to go crawl out to curl. One curl. Every time you come up. So you're crawling out with those dumbbells now. All the way out to the push-up position. Wide stance with the feet. Rolling. Crawl out. It takes so long to get out there. We're going to add one push-up in while we're down there. It takes so long to get out there. We got to make the most of it. Come up. Literally one curl. Crawl back out. Push. Crawl back in. Curl. All the way out there. Push up. Squeeze it up. Pump in the freaking guns. Pressing it. With all kinds of parts of the body. All different parts of the body. Keep the pace rolling. You're also getting that heart rate up there. Ah. 
time. So coming up is going to be squat thrust to curl the press. So every time you come up on the squat thrust, it's just boom, boom, shooting it up. Just flowing with it. Bang it out. Shake those arms out for a second because your arms are going to start fading. Your shoulders are going to start fading. You don't keep them loose and stay hydrogenated. Why do you come work out after one more? Because you should be screwing around with that stuff. Shake it. Stretch it. Get ready. We're going. I'm all alone. The rest of them can't hang. The rest of them can't hang. Let's go. Squat thrust. Curl press. Squat thrust. Curl press. Yeah, good of you, good of you all to join us. Just give me the finger. Squat thrust, curl press. Find the flow. Push the pace. Abs tight when you jump those feet back. Otherwise, you're going to strain your back. Squat down to get down there so you're not slumping forward. Put pressure on your back. Boom, throw it up. Is squat this curl or press or squat this press? Can't be a press because I can press without curling. It's got to be curl and press. Oh. I'm going to press it, curl it first. That's why we just go straight to curl the press. Two more. Throw it up there. Flow with it. to curl the press coming up. So you're gonna crawl all the way out there. Every time you come back in, obviously stand up, shoot that curl the press, your feet are gonna be apart. So you don't need to change your stance for that curl the press. Let's roll. Let's do it. Wide stance. And we're gonna add that push up out there just for the fuck of it. Crawl out. It just takes so long with those dumbbells, it just wouldn't feel right not getting more work done on that. Good round, good round there. Way to miss it, eight sets. Huh? Yeah, sure. So can you bring that to me, please? I could go in the bathroom for 20 minutes, too, and say I was in, and say I was in the bathroom. <laughs> Throw it up. So crawl out, push up, crawl back in. Curl press. Put this one back when I want. Throw it up there. We're working. Suck it up, suckers. Freak shows. Ready for that next set. Your upper should be working, your lower should be working, your core should be working, heart rate should be getting up there. Total body, working every part of the body here on these rounds. Do what you gotta do. Get ready for the next set. This one's gonna get double squat action going on. It's gonna go squat thrust to squat the press. So after the squat thrust, you're going to get the weights to here, so it's really curl to squat the press. So we'll just call it a squat, a, a, a squat the press, even though there's technically a curl in there. Let's go. We're squat the curl the press, however you want to call it. Look, check it out. Grab your weights. Let's go. So you're squat thrusting down, jump, squat down, jump back, jump in, get them to here, and then squat to press and then bring it back down. So technically it's a squat thrust, curl, squat, press, and bring it back down. Let's go. We're rolling. Right there, two. 
your chest. Squat, press. So you're getting double, double leg action here. Turn it into a little flow. See how it has a little rhythm to it? Look, never stop moving. Chain it together. Constant flow. Slow movement, but controlled. And chaining it all together. There it is. A few more. We don't need a ton of these. Squat thrust to squat to press. It just happens a curl gets us to the squat to press. So you're gonna blast your legs because you're getting that double squat action. Look at that. Shake it. Stretch those legs out. Stretch those legs out. Keep moving. Active recovery. Get the shoulders loose. Moving. Shaking. Stretching. Stretch those glutes. Your legs are going to start working. Start feeling it here. It's a handsicles. Calves. All right, we're gonna go now to, to jack to press, but we're gonna separate the two. So you're gonna hold the weight here for two jacks, then hit your two presses. Two jacks with just legs, so not jack to press. It's two jacks, then two presses. Coming up. Do it. Get your weight up. Wait, did you say you two weight up or get your weight up? I don't know. I thought you meant YouTube. YouTube weight up. <laughs> YouTube. So look, check it out. You're going to hold it right here. Tight grip. Press your arms. Two jacks. Two press. Jack. Two. Feet apart. Two press. Two jack. Two press. So look, the feet are apart for the press. Then I put them here. They come in, out. That's one. In, out. That's two. So they're out. So I have a good base for my two presses there. One, two, two. One, two, one, two. Pump it. For cardio wish, this is fairly slow pace, but. You're working a ton, your heart rate should be up. I'm already dripping sweat, we barely just started. Time, but you should be challenging yourself too. You're going same thing, keep those calves stressed out. So we're going right back to jacks. You're going two jacks, two curls. Coming up, coming up. So not jack and curl like we did before. It's two jacks and you get to stop and you get to focus on bulging up your freaking bicep, bicepicles. That's a good way to break your freaking ankle. Let's go. Those weights up. So you're holding them here for the jacks. We want that challenge of the core. We want your arms on fire. We're looking fire. Two jacks. One, two, feet apart. One, two, one, two. So you end up with your feet apart. Two jack. Two curl. Pump it. Abs need to be stronger. Head is up. Chest is up. Shoulders are backing down. Pump it out. Breathe it out. You're coming up into your nose. On the way down. Let's roll. Pump it up. Pumping it. Abs need to be tight. That's why you're doing those jacks. Otherwise, your lower back is going to get pounded there. With that extra weight that you're carrying on those jacks, you're not going to be used to. Two and two, suckers! Pumping it. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! If you're doing that right, if you have enough weight to challenge yourself, these are some solid sets. Should be whooping your ass. If you have enough weight to push yourself. Alright, so we're sticking with the regular jack. It's gonna be two jacks again. So stretch those calves if you need to, your hamstrings, wherever the hell you need to. Glutes, hips, 
lower back, the whole freaking thing. We're going two jacks and then one squat to press double arm. So those legs are going to be on fire this round. Two jacks, squat to press. Now you can't do a squat to press without curling it first. Well, actually here you can because they're right here for the jacks, right? So you're here one, two, feet apart, squat, press, right back to the shoulders. Two, so this one actually flows perfect. But your arms are going to be dead, your legs are going to be dead. Enjoy, you can thank me later. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got a man down, man down. In three, let's go. In three, not in now, in two, zero. One. Right here. Jumping for two. Jumping, jumping. So start feet apart. One, two, out. Squat, press. Oh, this one's going to suck. Okay. See how you can chain that together? Right out of that second one, I'm dropping right down, almost like a pop squat. Oh yeah, that sucks. Good stuff. Ha! Good stuff. Feel the pain. We love freaking pain. We love suffering. If it's not painful, if it's not suffering, if you're not challenging yourself to the freaking limit, even beyond your limits, you're wasting your fucking time. If you're winning Academy Awards, you're also wasting your time. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know what's worse, my arms or legs. This is suckery at its finest time. Fuck. Toss those damn weights. I don't give a damn where you are. Wake up the freaking neighbors sleeping down below you. Shake it out. Shake it and stretch it. We're still on those jacks. Keep those calves stretched out. Oh, this shit's gonna pop on you. I'll bring you to a back to the. Oh, where's that spider? Huh? Where's that spider? Mommy abused nature. Shut up. It's actually a lot of people will be picking me outside your house. You shouldn't be killing that thing on the camera. Where is the thing? Alright, so we're on two jacks. And then we're gonna bring them all the way down for a full curl to press. So legs will get a little bit of a break, sort of. I'm not gonna get a break on the jacks. So two jacks, one curl to press. It's gonna end up here though. So it comes all the way down, up, boom, boom, right back to the shoulder rack. Two jacks, one curl to press. Get back your shoulders, feet apart. Abs tight before you start. Clench your butt cheeks like you're pinching a pencil in there. I don't know why you want to pin a pencil in your butt cheeks, but just pretend you are. No, remember a penny? A penny too. One, two, curl, press, right back to the shoulder rack. One, two, bring it down, rack, up, rack, two jacks. Curl, press, ha, ha, two jack, one curl to press. Right back to the shoulder rack. Abs need to be tied on those jacks. I can't tell you that enough times because you need that back supported doing these jacks with extra weight. It's got to be tight every second of every flipping second. So your back is not compromised. You're not arching it. A couple more. Oh yeah. Arms on. Fire! Ha! Ha! Oh yeah. Toss that shit down. Toss it. We're slanging steel today. We don't give a shit. And rubber. We're tossing that shit on the ground. Whew. Tossing it. So now coming up. Listen up, freaks. So what do we got next? What do you think we got next? Two jacks. And then a squat to a curl. So it's right here for the jacks in the shoulder wrap. Right? Feet apart. One. Two. Squat. Curl. Right back to here. So those legs are going to get fried here. The freaking thighs are going to get fried here. Let's attack it. Let's kill it. Fuck it. We're still barely just getting freaking started. Oh yeah, long way to go. Long way to go. Oh yeah. Two jacks, one squat to curl, two fried freaking arms. Thighs on fire, glutes on fire. Let's do it. Shoulder rack. Tighten grip, grip. Tighten the core. 
Elbows locked in. Let's go. Two jacks. One, two. Squat, curl right back to the jacks. One. See how it flows together? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One, two. You can almost even drop down for that. Ooh. You did a jack curl there. It shouldn't be a jack curl. We want to focus on the curl separately. I think that thing on the top of your head is clouding your vision. Squat, curl. One, two, boom. We want to focus on that squat and curl. Two, jacks, feet apart. Oh yeah. Pumping it, pumping it, suckers. Ha. If you're not dripping sweat, you are not working freaking hard enough. Toss that shit down, and that's the round. That's the round. Shake it out, stretch it, get oh. hydrated, get ready for the next round. Ready for the next round. Your shoulders, your grip, your forearms, your biceps, quads, glutes, all should be on fire right now if you're pushing this the way you should and challenging yourself the way you freaking should. Stay hydrated. What I do is, this whole thing has a concoction of our Herbalife supplements and our Trulian supplements. Once it gets halfway down, before the workout, I fill it back up. So at the start of the workout, it's filled, diluted a little bit, but then it's just getting sipped throughout the workout. So constantly injecting jet fuel into the bloodstream to keep things rolling and stay hydrated and full of freaking energy. So if you need any help with your nutrition, with your pre-workouts, your post-workouts, your meal replacements. What the hell is going on back here? Just put a comment below or just send me a private message. We can hop on the phone and see what type kind of supplements might help out your already sound nutrition. Now, if your nutrition is not already sound and solid and disciplined, first thing we got to do is talk about your nutrition and break that down. What are your numbers looking like? What are your macros looking like? Your protein, your carbs, your fat. Do you even track it? Do you even know how much you should be having according to what your goals are. Do you even know what your goals are? So that, now that talks about, we need to talk about your goals. So if you need help with your goals, let us know we can hop on the phone. So it's all just reverse engineering everything, right? And it's all starting up with inside your head. Who are you? What are you made of? What are you looking to do? Where are you looking to go? What are some of your goals you have? And then we break it down and design your life, your nutrition, your habits, your daily routine, your schedule, all from there. This can be done in a one-on-one, -on -one, high level, one-on-one -on -one private coaching, or it could be done in a group setting where all this stuff is accessible to you also. So if you need help with any of that in your mind, your body, your business, your nutrition, your supplementation, let's talk. Enough babbling for me because we got some shit to get to, some work to get to. All right. So we're going now. This one's going to suck. Squat thrust. Bring my horse to jack to, to press. So squat thrust with the weights. Then every time you come up, it's one jack to press. One jack to press every time you come up from the squat thrust. Combining it all together. Stretch it. Shake it. If you need to, wipe down some freaking slime. All right, let's do it. Weights in hand. Both weights. Squat thrust to jack to press. So you're right here, squat down, back, jump in. One, two, we're going two jack to press. Do what you have to do with your feet, if they didn't end up apart, whatever. Find the flow that your feet are in the right position. If you jump forward with your feet apart, you should be good. Two jack press up. One, two, feet are apart. Oh yeah, I'm strong. Ha! Ha! I said that already. Oh, these suck. Good stuff. 
Too easy. I don't want to do this waste of time. It's just too easy. We're gonna go on some harder stuff. That was too fucking easy for you. Fuck that. Fuck that. All right, same game. Except now, just to get a break from the squat thrust, but not a break from the jack press. It's gonna be crawl out to two jack press. The legs are gonna be working like crazy. The legs are already solid, tight, stiff. Feeling freaking good. Whole body feeling good. Just getting started. This is just a warm up to the warm up. We haven't even freaking started the actual workout yet. Just getting rolling. This is all the practice rounds and shit. We're just gonna do the rest of it after we log off with you. That's it, because this is just our warm up. Warm up. We'll log off and then we'll go out and do the real workout after. Yeah, we're gonna be doing the workout like we already said we're doing it. Alright, let's go. Crawl out. While we're we know on the crawl out today, we're doing the push-up with it. So wide stance, wider than shoulder width. Crawl it out. Full push-up position. One push-up. Crawl back in. Two jack press up. Oh yeah. All the way out. Push. It's just too easy. We're not even gonna keep doing them. It's just like, all right, enough of that easy shit. Let's get on to something better. Cut stuff is too easy. Too easy. I'm just breathing heavy because I was talking while I was doing it. That's not gonna be hard or anything. It wasn't hard. All right, now we're going back to squat thrust, and it's gonna have two jack to curl squat thrust. Two jack curl. I'm telling you at this point, you need to be focusing on your core, your posture, your control, your core when you're doing those jacks, the extra weight, your core when you're jumping your feet back on the squat thrust. Because late in the game, you let your core start loosening up, you're going to fuck up your lower back. So focus on it. Keep it tight. Keep it strong. Keep it solid. Stiff as a mother flipping board. Straight, strong pillar. Let's do it. Grab your weights. Another man down. Man down! Going to three, two, one. We are rolling. Squat thrust. Ha. To two. Oh, I screwed that one up. Should be here. There we go. However it works. Whatever. Squat thrust. I'm just going to keep it to the side. Right here. Apart. Up. Apart. When the feet come apart, when the weight comes up. And then right back down to the squat thrust. Squat thrust. Why do we, why do we? Okay. Remember on this jack to curl. You have to reset at the bottom. Do what you got to do. Well, you can do a squat thrust and grab the dumbbells and then do the squat thrust. Okay. 
back, jump in, come up. Oh yeah, one more, one more. And toss that shit. Holy shit. That was the easy stuff. When are we gonna get to the hard stuff? When are we gonna get to the hard stuff? Listen, if you're not out of breath, if your heart rate's not up, if you're not dripping sweat, you're bullshitting. You're bullshitting. Because I'm in at least fairly decent shape. My heart rate's getting jacked. My upper body right now, forget it, is just pumped the hell up. The legs are worked like crazy already. The calves, the quads, the glutes. Feeling freaking good. Feeling worked and solid all the way around. And we still got a lot to get to. But if you're not, you're not freaking sweating. And sweat's not already flopping down and catching it, something's off. Something's off, you need to work a little harder. Push a little harder. All right. Now we got crawl out to two, to jack, two jacks of curls. Crawl out, two jack of curls. Of course, the crawl out with the push up. Crawl out. Let's do it. Scoop up your weight. Crawl out. Let's go. Crawl out. Push up. When they're apart, together, and they're down, so it comes out to the sides. Right. Boom, running, bang, and then right to the crawl out. Push up. So, right, you come up with the feet apart, curl it to get into position, right? Then together. One, two, right back to the crawl. Right to it. You are doing so much work, consistent short amount of time in these sets. Just so much going on in both different directions. The upper and the lower body, the core. It's impossible not to get your heart rate up if you're doing it the way you should be doing it. You're working so many parts of your body. All the way out there. Come on. round, sort of-ish, but a much longer round. It's going to be a very long round. We're going to switch up to all different kinds of stuff. Back to back, without putting the weights down. You're going to hold those weights in your freaking hands this entire set. This will be one of the burnout rounds of, of, of the warm-up, I mean. The burnout of the warm-up. Because we're just getting started. Stretch it, shake it. It's going to be a long round. I'm telling you right now, so get those extra couple extra seconds to stretch, do the Gumby stretch, shake it out, that lower back ready, hips ready, glutes ready, hydrate while we're here, get ready for the, this long, it's going to be a longer round. All similar exercise we just did, it's just going to be a different variation of it and longer flow, a little slower pace, longer flow. Alright, so once those weights are in your hands, 
You're not putting them down because I give you freaking permission. I could see you out there right out on the Instagrams and the, the tweeter twats and MySpaces and stuff. All right. Let's go. So every rep, you're going to be alternating only one arm. You're holding the weights in both hands. And only one arm will be moving, either for the squat, the curl, or whatever the hell it is. So scoop them up. Right here. Just press. Once it's down, the other one goes up. It's just going to be for a few. Uh, no. It's just going to be for a few each side because we're going to be transitioned. Now hold these here also. Just curl. Hold it. Curl. Hold it. Hold them at your sides. Curl press right. Press left. Ha. Oh yeah, suckers. Yeah, that's like a sound, like a song. It's like music to your flipping ears. I forgot what we're gonna do. Oh, here. Look, check it out. Squat, press right. Squat, press left. Squat, press, I feel worked. We're sort of starting, you don't feel sore, but I'm just getting tired. Squat, press right. Squat, press left. Down. Squat, curl right. Squat, curl left. Ah! I already said that. So, all the those curls. All right, hold them here. Jack press. Right, together. Left, together. Right, together. Left, together. Oh, yeah, these suck. You can actually get a pace to it. Time. Jack curl. Single arm. Figure out what you got to do with your weights because one is going to stay down. So here, hook. Boom. Together. Boom. Boom! Boom! I feel like I'm in fucking cheerleading practice. Go team, go! I think a good cheerleader. What do you think? Your little pom poms, fucking skirt. All right. Squat thrust. Curl the press right. Squat thrust. Curl the press left. Don't put those fucking weights down. Do not put them down. Curl press right. Squat thrust. Curl press left. It's always going to be a long round. Combining a whole bunch of shit together. Curl press right. Hot thrust. Curl press left. I can't even say it no more. This is so easy. I can't even talk no more. Keep flowing. This one's easy, but it compared to the other ones. What? Really? Yeah, this is... You get like the break down there, and only one arm at a time, the other arm stays down. Compared to the jack presses we just did, where there was just non-stop fucking bouncing. All right, crawl out. Curl press right. No push-up here. Do it without the weights. Keep the weights here. So crawl out. Without the weights. Curl press right. Crawl back in. Crawl out. Curl press left. Okay. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, right, right. That's the sound of the suffering free family. Oh. Uh, 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 and curl head left. Let's go one more side, suckers. And in a fucking push up for these last two right here. Come on. Crawl out. Push up. Press right. Ha, ah, fuck. Curl out. Push up. Ha. Ah. And. What's up? Don't put the weights down. I didn't say put them down. Go back to the shoulder press. That's where we start with. Come on. Ha. 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 Here you go. Biceps. Ha. Ha. One at a time. One at a time. 
Squat press. One at a time. Two. Two. Three. Three. Curl the press. One at a time. Curl the press right. For each side, that's it. Fucking joke. Do this in your sleep. And squat curl. Squat curl right. Squat curl left. Squat curl high. Squat curl high. One more side. Then take your weights and gently drop them on the floor without breaking your fucking toes. I said drop them, don't freaking spike them. And we are done with the warm up. So we're now going to go and do the real workout after this because that was just too easy. Right? No, no, that, easy. that was the warm up. Good yeah. job. Warm up, freaks. Freak shows. Good job. All right. So check it out. That's all you need. Look, I did one pair of dumbbells and didn't even need a light pair of dumbbells. I was only using 20 freaking pounds. And I'll tell you what, my whole body is freaking pumped up. It's worked right now. I'm dripping sweat. I got my upper body, I got my lower body, I got my cardio, my conditioning, my core, endurance. Everything worked in that through in those circuits in a short amount of time with minimum amount of space, minimum amount of equipment means you just have no freaking excuses at all. Ever, ever. Like enough of the crap already. Enough of the crap. On top of that, you can follow along right here, live, completely free. Like the excuses are fucking done. Like we've taken away all opportunities for excuses. Now, if you want the next level of coaching, the next level of, of high-level coaching, whether it's a one-on-one, -on -one, and, and we're talking about high-level coaching, it, it can be either the project, which is for men, here, held here in Southern California. We have one starting this Tuesday, so we are in project mode here around here in the Freak Cave. We are getting ready for the project this Tuesday, but if the project's not for you, or if you're not a man, or if you're not coming out here to California, there's also high-level, one-on-one, peak performance, accountability coaching in your mind, your body, your business, to get you in the best shape of your life, the healthiest of your life, to work on your leadership, your communication, your teamwork, work on making more money, setting your business up for success, making better decisions. Of course, it all starts in your freaking head with your mindset, holding yourself accountable, having others hold you accountable, having outside eyes on your life. Everyone needs a coach. Think about it. The great sports athletes have coaches. The greatest... Uh, highest level actors have coaches for all different areas of their life. You and I are no different. Everyone needs a freaking coach. So if you would like information, just send up a message below or just send me a private message. We'll jump on the phone and see which program would be the best fit for you. There's again, there's online group coaching, online one-on-one, -on -one high level coaching, the operate to dominate coaching. And then also of course the project, which is the most highly immersive type of personal development program that men could possibly do in the world. You come down here to Southern California, we have our own private compound, our own private learning center, our own private gym, full gym, outdoor training area, sleeping quarters, everything. All is included during the project. All you got to do is show up here and everything is taken care of. You don't have to worry about a place to stay, what you're going to eat, your transportation around town, all your training gear and supplies, absolutely everything included for you, including continued access to the ongoing, lifelong brotherhood of just hungry, motivated, successful, kick-ass men of fire from all different industries from all over the world. So if you want some information about the project, send me a message. We'll hop on the phone. We'll do a quick interview call. Make sure you're a good fit for the program. Or if you're interested in the one-on-one, -on -one, operate to dominate, peak performance, accountability coaching in your mind, your body, and your business, send me a message. Let's talk. We will hook you up and get you rolling so you can start living life on your own terms. You can start operating to dominate, kill the inner bitch, and unleash the inner beast that's within you. I will talk to you later. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. And I'm sure Freak Show has something he wants to tell you. No excuses! Very, very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.